What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be going over the top five awesome iPhone accessories for under 10 bucks. So if you guys wanna check any of these out, of course, I'll link them in the description below for you guys to just click on. But these are all just items that I purchased online. These are not you know paid advertisements or anything like that. I just think these are cool and they're really cheap. So I just wanted to share them with you guys in case there was something that you guys wanted to check out for yourself. So again, those links will be in the description below, but let's go ahead and take a look at these accessories. So more than likely, you're probably always gonna have your keys on you if you're out and about. If you're at home, then there's probably no need to have one of these. But if you leave the house at any time, whatsoever, this might be something for you. So what this is, is a lightning to USB cable. And the way that it's useful is it's really small and compact and you can just attach it to your keychain right here. So usually I have, you know, charging cables at home. I have one in my car for when I'm driving. And then if I go anywhere else with my laptop, like let's say that I go to Starbucks and I just want to do some work, I don't necessarily want to bring around an entire charging cable to charge my device if I need to. So this keychain just allows me to have it on my keys, which I always have with me. And then if I need to charge my device for whatever reason, my battery's low, then I can just pop that thing out and then plug it into my laptop. I mean, if you have a charging cable on your keys, it's just one less thing to worry about when you're out and about with your devices. Next up, we have a pop socket. Now this thing is actually pretty legit. So you take the adhesive off off the back and you actually attach it to the back of your device. And you'll notice that it actually will pop open just like that. And this basically gives you enough space to slide your fingers in in order to hold your device very easily without it slipping out of your hands. And it just gives you a whole lot more mobility with that on your device because you can move your hand around a whole lot more easily without actually feeling like you're going to drop your device. It just gives you a better grip on your phone. And of course, nobody wants to end up with broken screens, so this just gives you a better grip allowing you to do that with your device. And something else that you can do is actually pop this in one time, and then you can wrap your ear pod cord around this on the back of your device. So this is probably gonna be a little bit more helpful if you know you have a bag or you have a purse or something like that to put your device into because you don't really necessarily want to have this popping out of the back of your device and just sticking it in the, your front pocket, which nobody really wants. Not only all that, but the pop socket also will double as an iPhone stand if you pop it out twice and then just lay it down landscape mode, as you can see right here. But for less than 10 bucks, I think these things are pretty nifty little iPhone accessories. Definitely worth checking out. Now here we have some iPhone camera lenses. Now these are actually really cool because, you know, you kind of think of it as being kind of gimmicky, but if you've watched some reviews on these camera lenses that you can just literally pop over on top of your iPhone camera lens, they work pretty well. Now you can see right here that we have two lenses and there's actually three lenses all together here. So first of all, we have our fish eye lens. And of course, if you don't know what a fish eye is, you can kind of see by this picture that I've taken with my iPhone with the fish eye camera lens. So you used to see it a lot in weightboarding videos and skating videos and just kind of extreme sport videos. It's a cool effect, but it's not necessarily something that's still really in style. But at the same time, if you want to check it out, you can do so with the fish eye lens. Now we also have another uh, lens right here and this is a two-in-one lens so first of all we have the wide angle lens so that's the one that's on top so if we pop that over the iPhone you can see right here that you're gonna get a lot wider angle when you take a picture with this lens over the top of your camera lens now if you unscrew this you'll actually get a macro lens and this works really really well so you can get very very detailed and very very close up to whatever you're taking a picture of and it's gonna be a whole lot more detailed a whole lot more clear just because of the way the macro lens works. You're just definitely going to want to check one of these out because this is going to give you some really awesome shots as you can see right here. So the other cool thing about these is that they're really small. You can really just throw these into your pocket without them being too obtrusive and you can pop them out and slap them on your phone and take some pictures with your macro lens, your wide angle lens. Now I've used these lenses on my iPhone 5 all the way up to my 7 Plus. So you're not going to have really any issue with these lenses on hardly any of your devices. This next one is probably my favorite one, probably because of the name. But this, my friends, is the dongle dangler. So basically how this works is you put this on your keychain and it allows you to attach your dongle onto your dangler. So you just attach your dongle to your dangler and then it's right there ready for use at any time because you have it right there on your keychain. So again, very simple, you take your dongle, you slide your dongle 
into the dangle, and then your dongle's dangling. It's pretty simple, guys. Now, before I had this, I was actually keeping this in my Bose headphone case, which it can be kind of annoying, especially when all I really need is this because I have to go into my bag, then I have to go into my Bose case, I have to open up the Bose case, then I have to get these out. But if I have them on my keys, I can literally just pull the keys out of my pocket and then it's ready to, you know, I can just detach it from the dangler and then I have my dongle ready to go. Now it's kind of insane that we have to have a dongle dangler, but a dongle dangler we need. So here it is. If you guys want to check it out, it's just a couple bucks on Amazon. It's a pretty nifty tool. And last but not least, we have a silicone speaker dock. Now this thing is actually pretty legit. I did not anticipate this to work as well as it does. It almost works too well. So basically how this works is you have a slot up at the very top and that's where you're gonna put your device. So you basically just stick your device into the dock and it's going to amplify the sound through this speaker right here. And there's basically a hole right up here at the top to allow that music to come out of that right speaker or left speaker depending on how you're holding your phone and it's going to come out of this amplified tube right here and it is very loud and here's just a quick test to show you how loud this music can actually get And you also see right here, there's actually a hole in order for you to charge your device while it's in that dock. And there's little slots right here where you can tuck your cable in so it doesn't give a bumped or raised edge on top of that cable. Not to mention, I think it just looks cool because it's really minimalistic, very simple, it's smooth, it's clean, and it just looks good as a dock as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Again, if you guys want to check out any of these products, they're going to be in the description below. You guys can just click on those, check them out on Amazon, and pick some up if you want to try them out for yourself. Now, let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos just by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment in the comments below. Just because I don't do a whole lot of these types of videos. And if you guys want to continue a series like this, then I'd be happy to do so. Now, as always, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything jailbreak, Apple, or tech, be sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.